Hello everybody, today's video is going to be a little bit different, so I'm not in the van, but uh, I'm in front of my computer, and basically I'm going to go through and explain uh, an Excel spreadsheet that I made to calculate um, or estimate an appropriate size leisure battery for your setup in your camper van. Um, so as I said before, it is an estimation, and you can only be as sort of fair and conservative as possible um, to give you a rough idea, but hopefully it helps some of you guys. And I will make the file available for free to anyone, so I'll upload it um, to a Dropbox and then give you give you all a link so you can download the file and then edit it so you can fill in your own data and work out what size battery you need. So let's jump in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is write down all your appliances. So I've just gone pretty basic, phone, iPad, laptop, speaker, LED lights, cool box heater, water pump. You might have some other bits, you might have a roof fan that I don't have or, or some different lighting. Um, but this is this is my setup that I'm I'm using as the example. Then you're going to want to write down your quantities. So just for the uh, uh, just to help the calculations, um, I should explain at this point anything with a yellow uh, header on the spreadsheet is something that you need to fill in. So if there's no yellow header above it, then then obviously don't don't touch it because it will have formulas and stuff in it uh, for the spreadsheet to work. So fill out your quantities. And uh, then the voltage of the device or the, the electricity, whatever it is, um, and the current. So I've written amps there, should be current really, but whatever. So phone, two amps, a fast charger, so that'll be two amps. Um, and you can look up this information, so it should either be on the data sheet or on the booklet or the label or the plug. It will be there somewhere. And then since we have the voltage and the current, we can work out the watts. Um, so there's a basically a simple calculation whereas power aka watts is uh, voltage times current so that's all that is there and there's a couple of ways of working it out so if you have current and voltage then you just multiply them to get power if you have power and voltage you divide uh, power over voltage to get current and if you have power and current you can do power over current to get voltage so there's just a few ways to work it out um, but in this spreadsheet it simply does voltage uh, voltage times current to work out the watts so the next thing you need to fill in is your hours of use per day. So I've, this is all on a per day basis. Um, so I've just sort of guessed roughly. Uh, obviously, this is a bit of an estimation because, you know, you might, for example, if you look at the speaker, I've got uh, half an hour of charge per day. Um, you might charge it for two hours one day and then not charge it for five days. So it is a bit of an estimation. You know, your heater, for example, is going to be used a lot more uh, if it's cold weather versus in the summer. So... Yeah, we'll just take it with a pinch of salt. But anyway, I filled in my hours, so there's an estimation there. And then, that, then the spreadsheet will calculate your watt hours. And this is simply uh, the power times the number of hours used per day. Ah, there you go. Right, so the next step is yeah, the spreadsheet will calculate your totals. So uh, two 30 volt watt hours, I haven't got any. Um, and the 12 volt watt hours is everything you see there, all my 12 volt devices. Uh, and then they give you the total watt hours there. So if you have a 230 um, volts for the UK mains, anyway, UK mains 230 volts. So if you have that, um, you need to sort of factor in the inverter efficiency. Um, so if you are using the inverter, you look up the efficiency, the efficiency rating of your inverter. Um, this spreadsheet is set up for 85% efficiency, which is ra uh, pretty average for uh, for an inverter. Um, so it will ba it will base the calculation on that. Obviously, you go ahead and change the formula if you feel you if you feel you, if you can do that, then make it better suited for you. Um, but anyway, no two thirty what um, what hours there, uh, and just the seven two nine point two twelve watt what hours. So the calculation I've done for the eighty five percent inefficiency, eighty five percent efficiency. Sorry, of just times the two thirty volt watt hours by one point one five. So it'll have to work that a little bit harder because it is only 85% efficient, not 100% efficient. So the next thing you need to fill in is your days off grid. So if you want five days off grid, fully off grid, for example, with, with all the uh, information you've put in, then you just go ahead and fill in that with a five. I've just gone one, 24 hours, I think is fine. Uh, I plan to run a split charge system as well. So I'll be driving um, and that will complement the, the solar. So one day off grid is fine for me. And you also need to factor in a 50% discharge limit. So what this is, is leisure batteries basically are designed to not go below 50% charge capacity. Um, if you do regularly do this, and you will dr like dramatically shorten the life of the battery, 
And um, so basically what we do here is just take your total watt hours and times it by two. So that basically the battery is can work at 50% of its capacity and still deliver that number of watt hours. Um, I hope that makes sense. And then the next stage is the last one, which we all want, which will give you your battery size required. And this basically is the uh, new watt hours with the discharge limit divided by 12. I got it because it's a 12 volt, 12 volt leisure battery. Um, and that's given me 121.53 amp hours of battery to run all of these things for 24 hours with no external charging. And be sure to download the link, share it around, post it in the forums, whatever you want to do. Um, the link's free to use and it is there for everyone. So it's just a nice little simple guide to um, to working out how your best, uh, what leisure battery will be best suited to your needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.